Hello everyone, so today I am doing this mermaid inspired makeup look today. It's another Halloween tutorial for you all. So I'm going to show you how I went from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. I also did a couple of hairstyle looks for you today. As you can see now, there's one and two. And if you want to see how I created this look, then keep watching. So first of all, I placed my hair back with a hairband and got it all out of my face and then I zoomed in and started with the eyes. So I'm applying my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyelids, all the way up to my brow bone and also underneath my eye as well. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour in the shade Turquoise Forever and I'm just applying this with my ring finger all over my eye, just getting the sort of the bulk of the colour, the most intense colour on my eyelid. And then what I'm going to do is also blend out this product and I'm blending it out with my P82 Sigma brush which is just the round top uh, kabuki I guess, the little small one. And I'm just blending this all over my eyelid, but I'm also dragging the colour outwards out into sort of the outer V and beyond, just to give like a really nice sort of stretched out eye. So now I'm going in with an eyeshadow and I'm going in with Tilt by MAC and I'm taking that on a E25 Sigma brush. So again, I'm just blending this out in sort of the over blended um, shape that we've done, like the really sort of dragged out shape towards our ear and I've just sort of blended this into the crease as a sort of transition shade. So I'm now going to go in with my E50 brush from Sigma and just blend out that harsh edge, so still elongating that blue shade back towards my ear but just blending it out so it's not so harsh. So next I'm going in with this shade here which is Steamy again by MAC and I'm applying that all over my eyelid with a MAC 239 brush which is just sort of a dense shader brush and like I said I'm just applying this all over my lid just up towards my crease of my eye. So I'm going in with Fresh Water, again an eyeshadow from MAC, I'm taking that on an E25 blending brush, the same blending brush that I used with the shade Tilt, and I'm just blending this into sort of my outer V and that elongated shape that we've created, just to add a little bit more depth to it and just some more dimension to our eye. And again, I'm going to go in with that E50 brush and just blend out the harsh edges of the eye makeup. So I'm now going to go in with this shade here, which is called Digit, and again, it's from MAC. I checked on their website, but I couldn't actually see it on there, so I'm hoping they still actually do it. And I'm just applying it with a sort of tapered precision kabuki brush. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I will list it all below. And I'm just literally highlighting my upper brow bone and just my inner eye as well. So I now have quite a few glitters um, to use for this look. So the first one I used was my Makeup Forever in the shade number 6 I believe and I just sprayed this brush with some of my All Night Setting Spray. Now this brush is again a tapered brush from Sigma, again I'll put it in the description bar below. I actually just patted this glitter all over my eyelid. I just remembered it is the E45 brush from Sigma, but like I said, I'm just placing that glitter all over my eyelid and it's such a pretty glitter. So next I'm going in with this MAC glitter in the shade Reflex Gold, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep, Reflex Gold. And I'm just patting that over with a flat definer brush, which is the E15 brush from Sigma. And again, I've sprayed this with my Fix Plus, uh, my Urban Decay, sorry, setting spray, and I've just placed this over my lid. So now I'm just taking a face wipe, any face wipe will do, and I'm just cleaning up any fallout from the products, especially the glitter all over my face. And you want to make sure you sort of wipe your hands as well. And now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer, and I'm just applying this all over my face, because I want a really pretty sort of dewy, finish to our skin today. 
going in with my MAC Mineralize Satin Finish Foundation and this is in the shade NC15 so it's fairly pale um, and I'm just applying that with my F84 brush from Sigma I have actually forgotten how much I enjoy this foundation I really enjoyed it for this tutorial it went on super nice it covered pretty much all my imperfections just with the foundation alone um, and it just has a really nice glowy look to it. It kept my skin fairly matte, but not too matte. It was a very sort of natural, dewy finish. And yeah, I'm going to be using this, hopefully, in tutorials to come. If not, I'll be using it for like my day-to-day -day makeup routine. So, sorry for my rambling. Um, I've literally just sort of blended it over with downwards strokes, and I'm just blending that all over my face. And I'm also taking it down my neck as well. Um, because I want this to be sort of a very polished look and I want my skin to be sort of all one colour, very flawless and I'm also going to bronze up later on. So now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm just applying this over any blemishes that just need a little bit more covering up um, than what the foundation provided. So I'm just blending it out with my finger as well. So after I finish blending, I'm going in with my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus. I'm just sort of placing this and blending it over my skin with my F25 brush from Sigma. And again, I'm just taking some down my neck to set that foundation. So now I'm going in with my Huda Bronzer. I want fairly tanned skin today, so I'm actually using this as sort of an all-over bronzer. I'm taking it on my Chanel uh, Number no. 2 Contour Brush. I'm actually just applying this all over my face and down my neck. I sort of, when I think of mermaids, I think of them being out in the sun all the time. I know obviously they live in the sea, but when they come out to the surface, I just figure them to be sort of really tanned and yeah. So now I'm going in with my Pro Longwear Concealer just to highlight my uh, face and underneath my eyes. Um, so I'm just taking it underneath my eyes, down the centre of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin and also round the sides of my mouth just to highlight them a little bit because I am very bronzed. So I'm just blending that out with my tapered kabuki brush from Sigma which I believe is the F86 is it? can't remember I'll put it in the description box below though everything that I have used in this uh, tutorial will be listed down below. So after I've blended this all out, I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and my F35 uh, Tapered Highlighting Brush. So I'm just setting everywhere that I applied that Pro Long Wear Concealer. So now I'm going back in with that Turquoise Forever and I'm actually taking some onto this lid which is sterilised. And I'm also going to go in with another colour tattoo which is Light in Purple. I've mixed these two shades together roughly the same amount and I'm just filling my brows in with this concoction um, and I'm just using that on an E75 brush which I normally use for my brows. And as you can see I'm just sort of feathering this product through my brows just to create like my natural brow shape and look just obviously in this blue colour. So after I've finished my brows, I'm going to set them with my Lash and Brow Perfector. So I'm just running this through my brows. And then I completely forgot that obviously we had blue brows and I was going to put it straight back in the product. And then I realised that it was covered in blue, so I just wiped it off. 
So I'm going back in with that light in purple colour tattoo and running this underneath my lower lash line on a small eyeliner brush. And again, I'll write all the brushes and info and everything down below for you. I'm just creating this sort of shape underneath my eye. So I'm following my lower lash line until I hit sort of the end of like the whites of your eye before you get to the tear duct. And then I've sort of done a straight-ish line towards my nose. It's just going to add a little bit of shape to our eyes um, and it's just making, I don't really know, it's like elongates your eyes and just makes a really nice shape to it. I just can't put it into words. <laughs> so I am doing the same to the other eye. And then just going in with my finger and blending it ever so slightly, just on more focusing on that sort of lower lash line part, but not on the actual shape. And then I just neaten that sort of flick up. So I'm going in with that fresh water shade again, and I'm taking that on an angled 266 brush from MAC. I'm just placing this over that product to sort of set it and just also to add some colour to this sort of design that we've done underneath our eyes. So now I'm going in with eyeliner for my upper lash line and I'm going in with this Avon Super Shock eyeliner in the shade Shimmering Sapphire. I'm just taking this on an eyeliner brush and I'm just applying this to my upper lash line. I'm sort of creating a sort of thick wedge shape to the outer edge and I'm also doing a wing that follows that lower lash line that we've done up towards our brow. Now you can make this wing as thick as you want, you can use black eyeliner if you want. I wanted something very subtle and for me this eyeshadow, uh, eyeliner even looked really nice with this look when it was all complete. So I'm just going to go in and curl my eyelashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curlers as I do normally. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara today which is of course the Rocket Volume Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm just applying it to my upper lashes to start with because I want to apply some glitter to the bottom. Um, but I want like my eyelashes to be on so the glue can start drying. So these eyelashes that I'm using today are the number 4s from MAC. And I'm just applying them with the Geo Adhesive, just placing them both down on my eye. And then moving them around once the glue has become tacky. So I'm just going to go in with that Reflex Gold uh, Pigment slash Glitter from MAC again. And again I'm just using that flat definer brush and just placing it on the inner corner of our sort of eyes and tear duct area. And again I'm just applying my Rocket Volume Mascara to my lower lashes and that completes our eyes. And of course we always get that one day where we make that mascara mistake. So I just used a cotton bud after the mascara had completely dried and just gently sort of twisted it on the area of mascara. So here are our eyes complete and now we're moving on to our face. So I'm going in with my Revolutions, uh, what is it called, my blush palette in the shade Sugar and Spice. And I'm just taking that on an F15 Duo Fiber blending brush from Sigma. I'm just blending this all over my face and I'm going to go in with my F20 brush just to blend that blush out because it is so intense. So I want a really highlighted look today so I'm going in with my mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle and I'm going in with quite a few layers and building this highlight up and I'm applying it with my Louise Young LY20 fan brush today. I'm taking it down the centre of my nose, all around my eyes as you saw, on my cupid's bow, my chin, and also a little bit dusted onto my forehead. 
So I'm now going to go in with a natural eyeliner and this is So There Jade by MAC and I'm using that as a lip liner today so I'm just applying it all around my lip line and I'm just sort of applying this shade because I thought it was such a pretty TV jade shade and it actually worked really well for a lip liner <laughs> I probably wouldn't suggest it all the time and I did sterilise it after using it because obviously or and before even um, because obviously I don't really want stuff touching my eyes and my lips so I'm actually taking that light in purple colour tattoo as we used before and I'm taking that on an L O or L05 brush from Sigma and I'm just building up this colour over my lip. Now this worked amazing for a lip colour um, and I drank tea, I drank you know hot and cold drinks after I did this makeup look without taking it off and my lip looked perfect afterwards so if you're wanting to do like really dramatic lips then i'd 100 percent recommend these color tattoos for them and now i'm going in with a mac lip gloss in the shade underage and i just put some onto the back of my hand and then used my same lip brush that i was using and just apply this all over my lip just to add sort of a little bit more dimension to our lips and make them a little bit more glossy so here is the finished look complete. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I will zoom you in so you can see the eyes in a little bit more closer. There we go. So it's not as dramatic as Mermaid as I could have been. Um, I didn't have any fishnet tights because I wanted to do like the scale effect. But I couldn't find any netting or fishnet anywhere. Um, so here is one hairstyle look that I created. I just sort of twisted a quiff and also plaited my hair. Um, I had wavy hair as I plaited it the night before on wet hair. And then this is the second look. It is a double fishtail braid. If you want tutorials on these hairstyles then let me know. But here is the look complete. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.